All right, Jordan. Yeah. Do you want to show us what you got? Very well. From Oz Comic Con 2017, 18, <laughs> 2018. I know my years. Oh, if you like, it's too dark. Yeah. Okay. No, Ollie doesn't like the light. It actually lights up the room. There we go. The crappy light. It's not crappy. Right. It illuminates the room. Mm -hmm. it does its job. Yeah. Exactly. I got a speedy win. Whoa! I didn't see you get that. Yeah. It's really sick. cool. Hello. <laughs> the, cat, the cat likes it too. And the special text mess. Mmm, nice. Chameleon marker. Oh, you actually got one. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Purple grape. Purple grape. A jelly roll. Jelly roll. See if it lives up to the hype. We've, um, we've been hearing a lot of things about jelly roll. Oh, another saga. Saga, volume three mm. and four. This beast, Dark Nightmare. <gasps> Whoa! Nice. Excuse me, young lady. You're being very rude. What else is in here? Oh yeah, and of course, Zodiac. Zodiac. Incredible creation. Mm. Hey, work. <laughs> Alright, is that it? That's it. Sweetness. Oh, well, we really went like this year. Yeah, Molly didn't get anything. I got something. What? I got something. Well, show us then. Fucking lazy bastard. Yeah, you're actually gonna laugh at what I got. It, it's weird, but it's actually really good. Mm. It's based on the Melbourne trains. Yeah, the Melbourne um, train lines. It's called the uh, Metro Cop Wonderland. Ah, oh, is it an anime? Oh, uh, it's, a, it's a graphic novel. No, graphic manga. Um, it's so, based on the trains. Oh, I think I've, I've heard of this. It's actually really interesting. Yeah, yeah. We talked to a, a dude ages ago who was talking about how, the, how he was gonna make a comic about this. I remember one time we Yeah? Did. Yeah. Oh, wow. <sighs> That's it? That's all you bought? That's it, guys. Yep, pressing. So <laughs> <laughs> 200 bucks out, I want to buy stuff, and I uh, got it. Got nothing. Hey everyone, it's the next day after Oz Comic Con. Yes, I need a haircut. <sighs> so that you're not looking at my ugly ass hair. Focus. There we go. Camera wants to focus. Now that I've covered my hair up. Anyway, yeah, it's the next day after Oz Comic Con. So fun, guys. I had so much fun. I had a blast interviewing everyone. And now I'm just going to show you some of the stuff I got. So the first thing I'm going to show you is... This really cool comic, Zodiac. It's a it's the first chapter. Um, Warwick Wrong. He was he was one of the artists that I interviewed. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you it because I think you should get it yourself. But the art inside is like I don't know if you can see it. Uh, see the front cover. But it's so cool. It's so amazing. And uh, yeah, it's just it's chapter one. Um, can't wait for the next one, Warwick. It's so cool and it's so. It's more, it's more visual than, um, than comic-like, which I actually really prefer. <laughs> Next, <clears throat> excuse me, coughing up a loogie. Next thing I got is this adorable little post-it. Oh, <laughs> look how cute he is. Oh, it's a little mushroom. The artist is Andrew McIntosh. Oh, how could you say no to that face? So cute. It reminds me of those, those little things from uh, Princess Mononoke. The little things where they, they turn their head and they like, like, like click it back and it like have like this cool rattling sound. <laughs> but this is adorable. I just saw it and I went for a, a bean line for it. Oh, so cute. Um, anyway, uh, another bit, I got a, um, I got a, a original art piece from Mitchell Collins. Um, it's a really cool, I'm a, I'm a big Spider-Gwen fan, but it's a really cool, I'll show you taking it out of its plastic, God forbid me. It's an original art piece. Uh, it's Spider-Gwen. I just think it's so cool. It's a very stylized, like you don't, it's not 
like what you see in like regular comics, you know? Bit of original art there. And the next thing I got is from this awesome artist, Jeffrey Cruz. Cru Cruz? Jeffrey Cruz? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I got him to commission me a original art of Endeavor from um, Hero Academia. He is so good at um, drawing anime. Such an amazing piece of work. Such an amazing original artwork from him. And he... Uh, he didn't have to. He didn't have to, but he he put in the the fire bits with color, which I appreciate so much. He he usually does them in black and white, but he put an effort in with the fire, and I just thought that is so. I'm so grateful, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. Oh, his his art name is the Chamba. The the Chamba. The Chamba. Chamba. I don't catch up. Anyway, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I actually went quite light with Oz Comic Con, which is funny because um, Oz Comic Con is usually the the bigger event um, uh, in comparison to Supernova. But I just seem to have gotten like all my posters from Supernova. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just went a little light this year. In this video, I just wanted to talk about two things. One is that I wanted to give a huge thank you to all the artists that I interviewed. I just find it so great that you guys were willing to give up moments of your time to talk to me and allow me to ask you about your lives. It's a very personal thing and to open up like that to a complete stranger who they've never met, uh, don't know about, <laughs> and um, could possibly have like turned this like you know on their heads and used it for his own advantage i would never do that but i mean i wouldn't know how to do that but they did it they did it it's so i just i, I appreciate it so much they were so nice and, and so polite about it and it's insane how much i connect with these people and i just hope one day i'll get to become one of those people having a desk at oz comic con and um being able to connect to people to, to strangers and talk to them about the things that like we we both love you know we we both share you know uh, and to do it to face to face it's sort of something that i was like sort of deprived of when i was a, a kid and sort of like why i never really had any friends at school uh, which comes to my second topic of discussion today you've probably guessed it but um, some of you are probably still wondering why is this channel called seizure art and that's because ladies and gentlemen I have epilepsy uh, for those of you who don't know what epilepsy is um, it's a disease it's a genetic disease that resonates in the brain uh, some people may be affected by it in different ways but uh, for me when I'm shown flashing lights or I'm under uh, a lot of stress um, it causes these things called seizures. So the reason I call this channel Seizure Art is because if I, if I hadn't got epilepsy, I think I would have turned out to be a very different person. Before my first seizure, which was in 2007, um, I was 13 at the time. I was a very tech kid. Uh, I kept myself to myself. I would stay up all night and play games, um, and I wasn't taking care of myself. Um, that well as well. I was I was really into YouTube back then as well, but also I was hardly drawing I, I did draw when I was a kid, but I was hardly doing it. I remember uh, <laughs> The PS3 came out previously the previous year and I just got it and I was so hyped to play it. I was playing it all the time. Little did I know the chaos that would come after so after I was diagnosed with epilepsy just everything just went to shit. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be chuckling about it, but um, my newly bought PS3 was taken away, uh, and my computer, just everything. Like, I, it was everything to me as a kid. So, um, as the years went on, everything sort of became, like, worse and worse. Especially the first couple of years of when I had epilepsy. Uh, people, at, people at school were talking to me like I was just this fragile thing that they should like tippy toe around. I just, I felt like, like everything, everyone was talking to me, uh, was seeing me uh, in a different light and I didn't like that. It was, I just wanted everything to be back to normal and uh, 
that wasn't gonna happen anytime soon. I also had to do these medical tests to see how bad my epilepsy was so they could see like the scar tissue um, in the brain. That was a nightmare. <laughs> I'm not afraid of needles anymore because um, I they just took mountains and mountains of my blood um, and I'm just sort of used to them now. <laughs> but the worst part about it was the medication I got as a kid. It would just screw with my sleeping pattern so much. Uh, in At school, uh, in days, I was just a zombie. I couldn't concentrate. And I barely got through my year 12 grades. But through all the heartbreak, through all the days alone, throughout the depression... Oh, I was diagnosed with depression, by the way. Throughout it all, the one mistress that didn't leave me, the one that warmed my bed, was art. I was drawing more than ever. I was drawing so much. I had a um, Deviant Art account uh, I kept for ages. It was amazing the feedback that I was getting. I was talking to strangers online and I just had so much fun talking to them. It kept, it, re it just really kept me going and I, I just loved it. One thing for sure, I wouldn't have become the artist that I am today if it wasn't for my uh, epilepsy. And in a funny and, you know, fucked up sort of way, it's... Kind of, I'm kind of glad I got epilepsy. Uh, sure, sure, it screwed up the majority of my childhood, and but I'm bouncing back. You can, you can recover from it. For me, uh, epilepsy is a challenge that keeps me alert and it forces me to become a healthier and happier person. And it's working. <laughs> I don't think I would have like focused on my health more if it wasn't for epilepsy. Don't get me wrong, epilepsy is a horrible disability and I don't wish it upon anyone. When you have a disease or disability, it's important to try and turn it into something good. Something that you can tackle and not let it c take control of uh, your life or how the way you want to live your life and th so that's why I call my channel seizure art if it wasn't for epilepsy I don't think I would have actually ever become an artist um so yeah that was my background story um I hope it was interesting um all I'm saying if people out there are struggling mental disorders or, or uh, disease or um, any disability whatsoever, just draw, just draw. <laughs> nah, just try, just tackle it as best you can and try and turn it into something positive throughout the whole thing. Don't let it get you down. I know it's, it's easy to say. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you at the next Oz Comic Con. Bye!